G'day folks, this is just a short little video of the MSR Dragonfly. Um, comes in this little bag, which weighs in at 515 grams. And in it, we have a pump. Instruction manual, a little repair kit, stove itself, <coughs> base plate, and a windshield. Now, normally these legs are all folded up. So basically all you have to do is unfold the legs, turn that round, and that's pretty much it. Um, let's insert the pump. Uh, these Dragonfly is multiple fuel. You can use uh, white gas or in Australia's case it's called Shell Light. Um, diesel and kerosene and also uh, unleaded fuel I believe um, but basically just insert lock it in you then have to put about 20 pumps to build the pressure up. Yeah. Unlike other MSR stoves, um, this one has two control valves. The main control valve on the stove and one on the fuel line. Um, this stove is very, very noisy. In fact, extremely noisy. <laughs> it sounds like a jet engine taking off. Um, it does have very excellent simmer control, though. And it's also bloody easy to light, very easy to light. So you just open up the valve on the gas bottle fully. And then just open that slightly just to get a bit of fuel in, close it off and then just then you just let that burn down a bit Once it burns down a bit, and you start to get the blue flame, you then just turn it up slightly. Wait. That's 
basically it. It is, it does have a very short um, fuel line, which I don't know, personally is a bit concerning. Um, I also do have the Whisper Light International, which weighs in at 540 grams. And we have here the pump. stove itself. Base plate. The windshield and of course the instruction manual. I also do have the Expedition uh, maintenance kit which well, there's more instructions in there. And, and replacement burners and o-rings and all the stuff you need to repair it in the field. I've owned this stove a lot longer than what I've owned the um, um, ah, so yeah, that's just a gas gun going off. <laughs> I have owned the stove a lot longer and use it a lot more than I have the um, Dragonfly. I will. I have to say I am a huge fan of this, this stove. Um, so with, to get it to simmer properly, you actually have to just reduce your um, the pumps. So if you don't put as many pumps in there, it takes a bit to, drive, to figure out how to drive it. Once you actually get used to it, she performs quite well. Now, to light this one, you actually just have to turn it on a bit, and then down in here, you'll get some fuel come through soon. at some stage. It can take a little while for it to pop through. There we go. You only need about a quarter to half a teaspoon. And just turn that off. <coughs> Away she goes. Now you just let that burn off until basically it's got to heat up this coil here so it vaporizes the liquid fuel going through. Um, so once it's you just slowly get a little bit more gas. Oops, too much. Turn that down a bit. Once you actually start to see the blue flame and you hear it, it's then virtually ready to go. Let's wait till this yellow flame actually fully disappears. Like it has now. Voila. Um, when it comes to fuel efficiency between the two stoves, um, okay, this one I've only been using for about a week. 
Uh, so I'm, I'm still also learning how to drive it, but it doesn't appear to be that much of a difference. But with the Whisper Light International here, a mate and I, we used it on a five day trek a couple of weeks ago, and I did actually carry both fuel bottles just in case we ran out, but we probably only went through about three quarters of one of these. Um, and that was cooking three meals a day, plus the odd cup of tea or coffee here and there. So it seems to be quite fuel efficient. It's just, unfortunately, its simmering aspect are a lot to be desired, but once you actually get used, used to and you figure out how to drive it properly and all the rest of it, so it's fine. Given the choice between the two, I would probably go with the Whisperlite International. Um, I would, not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with the Dragonfly, I'd probably use the Dragonfly more so if I'm car camping or maybe if I'm um, kayaking and like I've got a bit extra I can take a bit of extra stuff things like that plus you can fit a bigger pot on here so if there's a whole group of us this is perfect for hiking we, you know, or something like that this is the way to go you know, those fuel canister stoves um, I started off using them but I found them to be too inefficient you just wasted so much fuel because you couldn't really tell how much was left and should I take another one just in case. And, uh, I ended up with canisters lying around everywhere so I've gone with this and best thing I've ever done I think. Anyway, thank you.